Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, for those um, joining us on social media, I think uh, our Vice President, Honorable Given Rinda, will give brief remarks why we are at High Court and why we are here, and uh, he can proceed. Honorable Given Rinda. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who are joining us live on uh, social media. I would like to inform you that today we had five matters that were running concurrently. We had a matter involving myself, we had a matter involving Emmanuel Mwamba, a matter involving Stadi Mwale, a matter involving Rafael Nakachin here at the subordinate court. And at the same time we had a matter uh, in which Rafael Mangari Nakachin sued the masquerader Miles Samba in the High Court. Today we are very happy that uh, the application by uh, three of our colleagues, three of those eight presidential aspirants in the, in the patriotic front, namely uh, Brian Mundubide, Kafuaya Mutotwe, and uh, Grayford Monde, their application to join the matter in which Rafael Mangadi Nakachinda, on behalf of the party, sued Malsam, has, succe has succeeded the judge has accepted that the three be joined to the matter and because of that application which was successful the matter was adjourned to 4th of December. I'd like to thank all patriotic members for turning out in large numbers at the High Court and for turning out in large numbers to render support to all of our friends who are facing court cases. This is as it should be. And I'd like to seize this opportunity to say, don't you be swayed by some naysayers who are saying that members of the patriotic front must not cry about democratic space because they themselves when in government did not give people sufficient democratic space. Had that been true, the patriotic front would have become a one-party state. Would not become a one-party state because we maintained the constitutional provisions of Zambia being a multi-party democracy. The dwindling democratic space that we're seeing now is because of the appetite by one Haga in the Hijidema and his UPND regime to destroy multipartism to create a one-party state. So those like Laura Mitty who are saying that you must not listen to the leadership of the PF because we strangled democracy, just ask them to tell us if we did, did dismantle democracy because had we done that there could have been no opposition political party surviving, surviving today. There are many political parties. Others were actually formed during our 10-year rule. Political parties were formed because we allowed them to be formed. We were true Democrats. And when we complain about the dwindling and shrinking democratic space, it is not from without. We have heard now, even the erstwhile friends of Haga Inde Hijirema are now coming up and questioning why he's de diminishing the democratic space of Zambians, why he's not allowing opposition political parties to be heard. Yes. He has stopped us from being heard by our people, and now we're just resorting to social media. And let me just advise that, my friends, as long as the police don't allow us to go and meet our people, let us meet them through social media. Let us meet them through radio and television. And I'd like to commend all of you leaders of the Patriotic Front for utilizing the alternative space. In this day and age, nobody will stop us from being heard. Let us be yes. heard at funerals. Let us be heard at yes. weddings. Let us be heard on radio and television. There are some television stations that are still in keeping with the tenets of democracy and are willing to cover us. Let us go and be covered. Yeah. Before I conclude, I want to just say thank you very much to our legal team. Chairman George Chisanga and his legal team and also the lawyers who are coming up on a daily basis to assist us to prove ourselves innocent and to show that we're fighting for democracy, we have to thank them most sincerely. I'm alive to the fact that there are many people, especially residents of Lusaka, who would have wanted to come to the High Court today, but because of the short notice that we gave them, they did not turn out. Now please start preparing. The matter is coming up on the 4th of December. Please don't wait for anyone to come and give you transport money, because we are opposition and we don't have the resources that the UPND have. Come 
out in your numbers. Come and show everybody that it is not only Edgar Chagwalungu, it is not only Lubinda, it is not, not only Nakachinda, it is not only members with Central Committee who are complaining about the shrinkage of democratic space. It is every Zambian. And remember, if parties are destroyed, the next in line to be destroyed will be churches. After that, it will be the media. And after that, no Zambian shall be able to speak. We have already started hearing how people are being arrested simply for complaining that you didn't have Vuta to Antoine Manga. So if you don't protect democracy in Zambia, you are making it difficult for us to be heard and making it difficult for your children to stand up and be counted. Time has come, irrespective of what Cornelius Mwetwa says about us saying, stand up for democracy. Don't be intimidated. Let us rise and defend democracy. Yes. That is our God-given right to make sure that we govern ourselves as a democratic state. This is the reason why our forebears lost their lives to fight for Zambia's independence. This is the reason why in 1990-91 all of us Zambians forced Kenneth David Kaunda to amend the constitution by repealing Article 4 without even going for a referendum. He did that because he knew that that was the will of the people. And the will of the people in 1964 still remains the will of the people in 1991 and the will of the people today in 2023. Yeah. So please let's all stand up and defend democracy. Thank you very much for following us. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.